The Sony A93 is definitely going to be announced later in 2023. But before to talk about that camera, please take two seconds time to subscribe to the channel, hit the notification button if you haven't done it so far. Trusted sources confirmed the A93 is coming in 2023, but I haven't got any confirmed specs yet and also not the exact release time. But I got two info from new sources. New sources are sources that I don't know if they're reliable or not, but they sent me two infos about the Sony A93 cameras that I want to post in this channel and uh, you will let me know if you think that those that info is correct or not correct, if, if it's correct, if you like it or not. Let's go to the two messages. The first message comes from a Sony source, he claims to work for Sony and he says that every time a camera with a new sensor comes out, we, Sony, prioritize new production lots with new process routes into the system. This is happening more recently with new stacked sensor. I don't know the details, but what I can say for sure is that we are prioritizing the new full frame stacked sensor. The way the route is seen is quite different from other stacked sensors, so it can be said that it uses a new technology. This sort of thing usually happens in our FAB about three months before a new camera launches. So I guess we can expect a new full frame stack camera coming soon, maybe A93. Hope this information is useful. He didn't share the exact details like um, resolution and speed of that sensor, but he's sure that this sensor will go into production in three months from now. This would mean June, July. And uh, I don't know if your Sony would announce the A93 in June, July, or sometimes after August and September and just take two, three months time to produce enough of the sensors. But anyway, he says a new, kind of stacked full frame sensor from Sony is going to be announced in a couple of months and it will be used on a new model. I think it's very likely this is for the new A93. Now let's move on to the second source. He said, had a chat with a Sony rep at a university event who seemed to suggest that a new A93 wouldn't have the articulating screen that the A7R5 has, as stills photographers seem to prefer the older style. With this in mind, he seemed to suggest that ProRes for video won't be included. He framed it like there was going to be a move with the A9 and A1 series to poorly pro stills camera dropping decent support for video. I hope this source is actually wrong. Uh, while of course on the A93, which is a sports camera, video is less important. On the A1 series, the video should really be the best in class. This is a very expensive camera. If the A12 comes out, video should be top in class with 8K, 60P and uh, whatever. So to me, this makes little sense that the uh, A12 wouldn't be considered to be um, high end for the video market. It should be, um, and also that the A93 doesn't have the A7R5 articulating screen. Also, somehow makes sense because sports uh, sports photographers don't use the fully articulating screen, so I can imagine Sony uh, not doing that. But still, uh, why not do it if you have the chance to do it? I think uh, Sony should always offer the best, on particularly on high-end cameras. Um, this is it. Uh, let me know what you think about the info that I shared today and uh, I will read your comment. I'm curious about it. As soon as I have a new rumor about the A93, I will post it on this channel and I see you soon.